Before I arrived on campus, I thought going to school at Cal would be very refreshing. Um, there's such a difference from Los Angeles and the Bay Area, and I mean, you can just walk down Telegraph and see that difference. I feel like everyone's so free and just, just are just happy to be who they are, and I really like that. It's so different than LA. People are more, I think, conscious of what they're doing and who they are. The coolest thing about Cal's campus is definitely all the grassy areas. There's a lot of them here, so I mean, if you want to study, read a book, have a picnic, play ultimate frisbee. I'm actually scared of the frisbee, so I feel like it can just like, you know, like, like cut me or something. <laughs> if I wasn't at the, on the basketball team here at Cal, I'd definitely be on the swimming team because A, they were national champs in 09, and they're just really intense, and they're, I always see them in the weight room, and they're just really, really good. They're pretty hardcore, so I want to be like them. I love to cook. Uh, it's kind of surprising when people don't know that, but I make really good omelets. I don't eat eggs. I've never had an egg in my life, but I make great omelets. Because I hate grocery shopping and going to the store a lot, I don't cook for my teammates because the more I cook for my teammates, the less I have food to carry over. So I like to make a big plate, have it in the refrigerator for leftovers, and yeah, call it a day. So I usually cook for my mom at home. Um, I like surprising her with random new dishes because she's a really good cook. So it's cool that she thinks I'm a good cook because she's a really good cook. My favorite show on the Food Network is Diner, Drive-Ins, and Dies. Me and my mom travel a lot and we have to drive up, up the coast or just fly to random places. We've gone to so many other places on the, on the um, show and it's really good, really good. <laughs> my pre-game routine, I don't have a set one, it changes for game to game, but I always call my mom. My mom will usually tell me like general stuff to, like, uh, you know, rebound, you know, <laughs> uh, make sure you're doing this, make sure you're doing that. But um, she'll also usually like, say a prayer for me or just calm my spirit. After the Pac-10 loss to Stanford, the mood in the locker room was very, you know, somber and it was also very intense because we realized, okay, we're not in the tournament, we need to suck it up, it hurts right now, but we need to get ready to try to win because there's some good competition in the NIT tournament. I feel like our chemistry completely changed and it changed for the better because it was something that no one on the team had been in before, so we were all the same level, from the seniors to the freshmen. It wasn't any, oh, the 08, 09 year, oh, the 07, 08. It was 09, 010, NIT tournament. No one's done it before. Let's do it. Instead of how we did all season, using January to look at March or using December to look at March, we just took each game at a time. Like it, Nothing else mattered except for game two. Like, so it was six games, but the only game that mattered was the next one because we could have lost the last one. So we all realized afterwards this is the best thing that could have happened to our season for, you know, especially for the people who are here like now, like me as sophomores.